Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back, finally, to Syndicate Shenanigans. Uh, I believe this is episode number 22, and I did promise a while back that we were gonna be returning to the Jack the Ripper DLC to try and get as much done there as we can on camera. I'll get all the boring stuff. In fact, I've already hopped back in and gotten all the Helix glitches. So, uh, yeah, and I haven't read them yet. There's like five of them, I think. So, uh, I haven't read them. So we're gonna go ahead and pr probably start off with that. But, uh, yeah, we're heading back into Autumn of Terror, London, 1888. And we're gonna kick some more ass! I also went back and got the achievement for, um... 30 brutal takedowns and frightening 200 enemies. I've already gotten those two. Hackney coaches, which were caps for hire, were notoriously slow. The joke was that if... oh, there was a joke there and I missed it. Well, you guys saw it. You could pause it. But, uh... What was I saying? There's, um, there's one burrow mission that's a little different, and I did one or two of them. And it's the, the, the Lost Women one. It's basically the child liberation equivalent of the DLC. Instead of liberating a, a factory that uses child labor, you're liberating the brothels. And, uh, it's actually, it's pretty sad, but there's a fight club here. Um, and I haven't done one of those yet, so I don't know how they differ. I've done one slow carriage escape. Haven't done any cargo hijacks, but I imagine those are pretty the same. And I've made sure to leave these alone. Jack the Ripper's letters. I have not done these yet. And I want to do them so badly. But as you see over there, I've gotten all the Helix glitches in London. And I've gotten all the Helix glitches, yeah, 8 out of 8 in Whitechapel. And those are the only two districts we have for the DLC. Uh, let's see. First things first, though. We're gonna go ahead and read those intel things. I scrolled through them, so if you don't see the exclamation points next to the thing, I scrolled through them as I was counting because I was stupid, and uh, but I have not read them yet. So we're going into database. Okay, yes, there's five of them. From Bishop to WW Assassins. Worldwide Assassins? Probably. Subject highest priority. This directive comes from William Miles. Dr. Alvaro Grammatica is now our most valuable target. Oh, so if we get some present day gameplay in the next- oh, for the love of god, please. It should be Otzoberg, leader of Sigma Team, very dangerous dude. But, um, I mean, he's killed a lot of assassins, but I guess that's really all he is, is a killer, right? Alvaro Grammatica is in possession of the Shroud of Eden, and we know he intends to use it to recreate a precursor for purposes unknown, yeah. Also, the Phoenix Project. We were able to capture some footage of him in his lab from the ending of Syndicate, but unfortunately we still have no idea where that lab is. It is everyone's mission to 1. Find Dr. Grammatica in his lab, 2. Kill Dr. Grammatica, 3. Recover the Shroud of Eden and any other artifacts found in the lab, 4. Destroy any and all Abstergo cloning technology. I've released some more of Evie's genetic memories to the Initiates to keep our back door into Helix secure, that's the Jack the Ripper stuff. We need all hands on deck for this one, report back with any leads. From Aaron Shoot, <gasps> Aaron Shoot Cunningham. Oh, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You guys remember when uh, in my Rogue Shenanigan series when I did present day stuff, there were two assassins, Aaron Shoot and Harlan T. Cunningham. Cunningham was present at the raid on Florence, I believe, where Otto got two faced. <laughs> but they share the la they share last names now. You know what that means? They're married. They were gay. It said that both of them were gay and that they were lovers. But they weren't married. Now they're- Oh, that makes me so happy. So where are they? They're in Europe? Well, Harlan and I just finished a whirlwind tour of Western Europe, and it was not as romantic as I would have- Were they on their honeymoon? Thanks for interrupting our fucking honeymoon, Bishop. <laughs> and to make things worse, so far, no sign of Grammatica in his lab. With Isabel Ardant dead, she is dead. Good job, Sean! You zapped her to death! At Abstergo Historical Research scrambling to replace her, the UK is still crawling with soldiers from Sigma Team and Delta Team. It's hard to maneuver there, but it looks more like the closing ranks to heal rather than hiding something. Oh, I see. Okay. Paris is clean since Sean blew up the lab. Even Abstergo's not dumb enough to put a new one in the same city. Well, the reverse psychology, errand. However, we did notice that they seem very interested in the Saclay business cluster, but as it doesn't relate to our current mission, we can't look into it. We're going to pass through Italy as we head east. I'm super excited, but poor Harlan has bad memories of Florence. Yeah, like I said. Poor guy. 
We've tried to send word to Nid. I could never pronounce that name right. They're from Initiates, uh, Assassin's Creed Initiates, those humble spy series of of communications. Um, you learn more about them there. So uh, it's a. I don't know if you can hear her, but Stella's snoring on my bed next to me. Um, we've tried to send word to the Ninidze brothers, people in Georgia. If you have any idea how to pronounce that correctly, please let me know. Uh, we haven't heard back. The silence is pretty worrisome. The chaos in that part of the world might t make for good cover for a lab. Fingers crossed. At the very least, my men and I, my men and I, all, will try to do some good while we search. Sorry we don't have better news. Errand. P.S. Tell Galena don't feel too bad for not killing Berg. So, yeah, he's definitely still alive. He's been on my shit list ever since he hurt Harlan. He's mine. Ooh, here's hoping, dude. Uh, from Jazdeep Dami, subject risk. Dami? Jazdeep Dami? Um, I don't know who that is. I think that's somebody we haven't met yet. No sign of Grammatica's lab in India. I'm proceeding south through the various island nations to Australia. Abstergo's many subsidiaries continue to have a strong presence in Bangalore, and they are no doubt scrambling to make sure we can't pillage another set of genetic memories. With all due respect, I think the continued involvement of the Initiates is dangerous. <laughs> they are not trained assassins. I'm forever grateful that they've helped rebuild our network, and they've proved themselves invaluable as data miners. So it's not a question of skill, but safety. I'm an assassin who accepts the risk of my chosen calling, and have trained hard to protect myself. Involving a large number of civilians who simply happen to own a device connected to Helix puts them directly in the Templar's crosshairs. Good point. I've seen firsthand what happens when civilians enter our world. It doesn't take long before things get messy. While I recognize the great threat Grammatica poses and our great need to do something about it, we need to find another way. You know, he's not wrong. That's actually something I've never considered before. I was, well, we're safer than being out in the field for sure. But, I mean, it's not very hard to track somebody online. Alright, until number four. A lot of reading first off, guys. Sorry, but I really want, I've been holding off reading these. I last played this DLC, like, just less, just under a week ago. I've been wanting to read these forever. From Kiyoshi Takakura. I believe you were on Initiates too, when Gavin and Emmanuel and all them were in, uh... Uh, uh, Tokyo. Subject, Continental Asia. Hi, our position in Japan is stronger than ever. Oh, good. Oh, because of that, that old woman is your leader, right? I can say with absolute confidence that the lab is not here, but we continue to search with vigilance. Osoroshiba- Osoroshibaba. Yeah, that's the old woman. You met her on Initiates, too. Uh, has decreed that we will send small teams into China and the Koreas to help the local cells search. I myself will be heading to China. I'm very excited. Ooh. In addition to locating Dr. Grammatica and ending his life, I look forward to sampling the various regional street foods. Okay. I'm going to start off by eating... Huoguo. Huoguo? Roadside hot pot in Shandong province. Hmm. Once invigorated by food. <laughs> That's me. I have to be invigorated by food. I will investigate several of Abstergo's holdings in the various high-tech development zones found throughout the province. Okay, sounds like a good plan. I can get Jian Bing, a kind of crepe, pretty much anywhere. But my brother says there's a vendor in Dalian that puts everyone else to shame. He puts in- oh my god, dude, you're not writing a fucking recipe. <laughs> he puts in pickles, cabbage, potato, carrot, pork so potato, carrot, pork, pork sausage, deep fried crispy dough, and a variety of spices. That actually sounds delicious. Abstergo Industries exports a lot of its products and technology from Dalian to other Asian markets, so perhaps I can find a trail to Chromatica's laboratory in the same manner as Gavin San found the lab in Paris. Daniel San. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not racist. Afterwards, I will find this vendor and enjoy the gen being a victory. <laughs> Dude, what the. What? I shall then visit the city of Jian. Jian? Jian. Xi'an, I think. Capital of the Shang. Shangxi? Shangxi. I can never tell if the X is supposed to be an SH sound or an X sound. Like. Shanxi province, because that's what it looks like. Shanxi. <laughs> As its history with the Silk Road trade route exposed its culture to a variety of outside influences, most notably Muslim. And when two cultures mix, the result is always good food. <laughs> I shall begin with a Shanxi sandwich. Nui Rujamo. It's a kind of beef sandwich. Xi'an's high-tech industries development zone is almost entirely owned by Abstergo. 
who are able to acquire thousands of graduates from the Abstergo-funded universities in the area. Surely it's a magnificent location for the laboratory we seek. Sounds good to me. My blade is sharp and my mouth is watering. Onwards. Bishop, what's your favorite food? <laughs> okay, I'm so. What's your name? Kiyoshi Takakura. Okay, you're freaking amazing. Your obsession with food is adorable. From Eric Cooper. Eric Cooper was also an initiate. In fact, he was... The humble spy was actually two people, and he was one of them. Uh, he wrote the posts while his partner uploaded them. Subject bad news. He's from Scotland. Just side note. <laughs> Bishop, our man in Montreal is dead. The poor wee lad had kept a low profile during the incident in late 2014, so I thought he'd be okay. Wait, who are you talking about? I, I don't know who he's talking about, but... After all, not much really came from Otto Berg's viral video posturing, did it? We had to empty a few safe houses, shut down a few servers, and put up some new firewalls, but all in all, it seemed like he was just talking shite. Oh, the incident! In late 2014. The, 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 the footage of Shay that I sent the assassins. It seemed like he was just talking shite, except it was a feint. He found our man in Montreal almost instantly and monitored his communication with other in it. <gasps> oh no. He flushed us out and watched us run, and more importantly, where we were running to. Oh dear. He found our man in Montreal almost instantly. So that's not us. Now some of our most influential supporters from the early days are running into some bad luck. Our military contracts are getting transferred or discharged. Our wealthier private citizens are getting audited or straight up bought out by Abstergo and their subsidiaries. Our friends in the seats of higher learning are facing budget cuts and challenges to their authority and curriculums. Damn. There are a lot of good people at risk whose only crime was curiosity. I generally don't have a lot of time for Jezdeep's shitty attitude, but he is right on this one. The initiates aren't like us, and they're in danger. Abstergo can make them disappear or worse. Ugh. I don't want to sound like I'm wearing Emmett's tinfoil hat or anything, but I'm convinced they're being targeted. Emmett was also on, uh, initiates. These are my friends. More importantly, they are innocent. You spelt that wrong, sir. And we need to do something and fast. I remain humbly yours, Eric. Okay, is that just a typo? I feel like if it's in all capital letters, it's even easier to see a typo. So that's either a very, very blatantly missed typo. <laughs> Shame on you. Or, that means something. Oh, P.S. Any updates on Sean and Rebecca? She wasn't looking so great when we extracted them from London. So she, okay. They got him out of London, and she was still alive. No saying on how she is now, but, and they, they don't have the shroud, so they can't heal her. Unless they get it back from Grammatica. Oh, man. That's gonna be it, right? That's gonna be the whole present day thing. We're gonna be scouring desperately looking for Grammatica's lab so we can get the shroud to save Rebecca, right? That's gonna be a thing. Oh my god. But alright, that's all the Assassin Intel from the Jack the Ripper DLC. Very interesting stuff. Mostly just different types of food. <laughs> Thanks, Kiyoshi Takakura. But alright. Alright, that's enough reading for now. Let's go ahead and head into this. It's almost time for me to pause the episode anyway. But we'll go ahead and do one mission. I don't want one whole episode to be, uh, just to be reading. I can do this with one hand and turn up my volume at the same time. Oh shit. Nope, that way. Okay. Where's my volume thing? There it is. Nope, keep running, Evie. Keep going that way. I'm running. I'm holding down right trigger and the left stick with one hand. You jealous? Okay, that's good. And seamless transition! Back to two hands! Fuck yeah! Okay. Whitechapel, Jack the Ripper letters, from hell. Mr. Suggest a little ten. I have helped spread the Ripper's terror through my Oh, hey, it's you! I want to make amends for my part in forging this monster's legend. I would hope so. You're, um... Uh, Weaversbrook. I don't remember your first name. Arthur? Weaversbrook? Rumors point to an individual believed to have authored one of the Ripper letters. Make him confess to learn the truth. Miss Frost, a new letter has arrived to fan the flames of hysteria, which have seen this, the world's first city, slip into primeval barbarity. You must make sure this author will not act. World's first modern city? I suppose I could give you that one? Generously? World's first city? No. I'm thinking more like... Rome. 
Oh, there you are. Oh, poop. You make me tail him. Out of my way! Gotta follow him. He's going that way. Whoa, alright music. You can calm down a little bit. Scrawny little woman is trying to... Oh, he's getting on him. Is he? He's running. Shit, he's running! This music is very creepy. Evie. Thank you. Okay, he's right there. Following him. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, how am I doing? Not great. Okay. Get back up. Walk of shame. Oh, I haven't done those either. Oh, you. He didn't write it. Jack didn't write it. According to the game, of course. <laughs> okay, it's time to... F you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to do this. Perfectly. Damn. They don't see me, do they? Get out of my face! Ruined it! I think I just snapped his spine against that chimney. That was pretty cool. Okay, fear bomb. Give me that. I'm going to... Wait, 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 wait. One more level. There we go. Okay. This is more elaborate than it needs to be, but fuck it. Brutal takedown! Are you frightened yet? Where's up, Spike? Whack! Ooh, I scared him. What perfect timing! I wanted to see if I could get away with it. I don't know who the Ripper is, but it ain't me. Ask me why. So wait, it wasn't you? Did you just say it was to Arthur Weaver's book? Damn. Large fear bomb pouch pattern. That sounds awesome. You're just doing it for shits and gigs. Well, okay then. Dude, that was awesome though. <laughs> Threw a fear bomb, brutally took down another guy, and spiked the crap out of the dude who thought he was hot shit. Let's just go ahead and do this now. Walk of shame. 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 <laughs> shame. shame. <laughs> uh... The gruesome murders of Jack the Ripper and sensationalist newspaper coverage has inspired other crimes. Many more prostitutes will come to harm if you don't stop the miscreants operating near London's train stations. Wow, people suck. People just suck. Okay, stop the client from being violent by any non-lethal means possible. When successful, bring the abusive bleh, client to Nelly. You must publicly disgrace and shame the client by traveling through crowds on the way back to Nelly. <gasps> oh, really? I am Septa... Fuck, what's her name? By any means necessary. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, stop. This is not what you think, please. My reputation will be solid. What a fucking shame. Oops, I let him go on accident. Come back. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. My bad. No worries, I got him. Shame. Shame. I have to get him over there. My shame meter isn't going up. What a shame. <laughs> Sorry. Can I just- can I walk him in the tavern? All the drunk people will pee on him. It'll be great. Merv! Oh! They're specific crowds! Well, that's dumb. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stop it! Oh, that's a problem. Shit, 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 shit. Move, you whore! Thank you. Feast your eyes on this miscreant! Oh, there we go. My thing- my, my thing went up. Yay! It's a shame he didn't. <laughs> Or his didn't. Damn it. Poor grammar always ruins jokes. Learn how to write, meme makers. 
Shame on him indeed! Yeah, that's funny. You don't need to tell me shit. I just want to publicly humiliate you! Go back to where you come from, you slumming bastard! Ooh, ooh, them's fighting wines! There you go, guys! This is how you would publicly shame people without recourse before the days of the internet. Oh. Yep. That was a bad time for that guy to try and escape. I mean, good timing on his part, but. Whack! You. Ow! I'll show you who's the banshee. Shut up! Okay, oops, wait, one more crowd. There's two more crowds over here. I want to fill my bar. No, don't worry about it. Grown up business. Where the fuck are they? Oh, did I scare them away because I fought? Yeah, there's there's no crowd here. Yay. I never thought I would be empowering prostitutes in a video game. <laughs> and yet here we are. This won't count again, will it? Nope. Whatever. I got an almost full bar. Close enough. Just go ahead and take him over here. And then I gotta end the episode. This episode's been going for way too long. I kinda wanted to make it a longer episode because uh, of all that reading we did first thing. Done! Special delivery, Nelly! One more bastard for you to deal with. Did you think you could treat us like dogs just because we're dollies? No, no, truly, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. You'd better not, if you know what's good for you. Damn, Nelly. Could sound a little scarier. Oh, I did escort him through a crowd. I escorted him through several, as a matter of fact. My bar wasn't full. Neither was his. <laughs> sorry. My inner hillbilly comes out when I wear a flannel. <laughs> anyway, alright. I think that'll about do it for this episode of Syndicate Shenanigans. Hope you guys are enjoying. Like and favorite if you are. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next video.